Okay, so this is the cuttlefish ring. You can see that the little piece of overpour that came out of the flashing just broke right off. Uh, that's just from the time it took to throw it into my kit and then move it back. Uh, it was attached maybe here. But we're going to talk about how to trim off that flash real quick. Uh, you can do this with a driller saw, but if you have um, sheet metal shears, it's a really good way to save your saw blade and some time since you don't actually need uh, to do all that saw work. So I'm just trimming off the perimeter of any of the metal I don't need, and then I'll come back and I'll file it to the shape that I want. Um, one thing you want to consider though as you're trimming off the last of these little details is you don't want to send them flying across the room, and you also want to make sure if you have any of these parts, like this perimeter here, that you can get in there with a the file. So you may want to come back and use a jeweler saw from the front face just as you use a jeweler saw to cut your piece off of the button and sprue gate. And I usually keep this on because it's a great handle when you're doing the rest of your work. So if you have any filing work, um, hold on to this so you have something to save your fingers as you're working. And then the last thing you'll do once you've got the band ring and the edge figured out, is you'll saw this off with the jeweler saw and then just file it smooth. So I'll switch to time lapse and do a little bit of cleanup. Okay, so this is the cuttlefish ring with the Peter site. And you can see through a bunch of the time-lapse processes, what I did was I sawed off all the debris and then I sawed off the button, which is right here. I came back with a couple of different types of files. I was mostly using a half round file, but uh, then I decided to do an artistic embellishment where I was carving in sort of these notches because these spikes look a little bit like teeth makes it a little darker and more uh, maybe evil or some people might call it metal. Um, anyway, so when I was doing that, I switched to a triangular rat tail or needle file to get in there to cut those troughs. And at this point, it's pretty much ready to set the stone, but I want to get in there with the buffer and take the sharp edges off of this because when you're going to wear it, it's going to be very tricky to slide this on the finger and then have all these little burrs on the perimeter. So I'll hit this on the buffer and then we'll come back and set the pewter site. 